our ozone layer is deteriorating. The ozone layer is depleted by free radical catalysts, including nitric oxide, NO, nitrous oxide, and 2 O, hydroxyl, O, atomic chlorine, Cl, and atomic bromine, Br. While there are natural sources for all of these species, the concentrations of chlorine and bromine increased markedly in recent decades because of the release of large quantities of man-made organohalogen compounds, especially chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and bromofluorocarbons. Sources of nitrogen oxide, NO2, are from aircraft exhaust. Sources of chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and bromofluorocarbons. Once in the atmosphere, CFCs drift slowly upward to the stratosphere, where they are broken up by ultraviolet radiation, releasing the chlorine that catalytically destroys ozone. In the graphic below, the destructive cycle of a chlorine atom is shown. UV radiation breaks off a chlorine atom from a CFC molecule. The chlorine atom attacks an ozone molecule, O3, breaking it apart and destroying the ozone. The result is an ordinary oxygen molecule. O2, and a chlorine monoxide molecule, CLO. The chlorine monoxide molecule, CLO, is attacked by a free oxygen atom releasing the chlorine atom and forming an ordinary oxygen molecule, O2. The chlorine atom is now free to attack and destroy another ozone molecule, O3. One chlorine atom can repeat this destructive cycle thousands of times. They are huge holes in the ozone layer above both poles. They are not literal holes but just an area where the amount of ozone the holes affect Antarctica, Australia, Canada and Northern Europe. The ozone hole has steadily grown in size up to 27 million square kilometers. The holes get wider in the winter and shrink in the summer, 